Yo, what is up guys, Sigical Goblin here and welcome to this new episode. In today's video, as you see, the league season just ended guys. I actually managed to beat my all-time best in AJSC 6,810 trophies. So in today's video, I will start off the episode up, um, or I will start off the episode by opening up this season reward. Of course, the chest, um, I basically have all my cards max, the only cards I don't have max yet is the wall breakers and the magic archers so hopefully we'll be able to get both of those that will be awesome and then afterwards i'll actually show some replays um yeah of me like reaching six uh, 6800 and 10 trophies so actually i finished quite high guys not that high like for example like top 10 or something but i actually ended up finishing i believe number 47 in the world so definitely not bad and also guys i do want to apologize if i like look really tired or something but it's actually uh, yeah 9 a.m here like the season just ended but actually the time is kind of awkward for eu because of course like before the season end you want to play so i was playing until like 4 a.m then i slept like three hours i woke up at 7 a.m then i started playing again um and then afterwards like once i reached actually 6800 like with like 45 minutes left i actually decided to call it the season and then next season i might try to get higher like maybe even go like all out um like all out or just nothing so i would say let's just open to the chest opening guys so let's see what we get so we started with 10k gold which is actually awesome looks like we yeah that doesn't really matter we just need to make sure like we get the star points but anyways guys so it looks like again like some comments looks like some rare so quite a lot of star points over here and let's see if the next card i think the next card will be epic so hopefully we'll be able to pick wall breaker and then afterwards hopefully we can actually get two magic arches that will be insane so it looks like as you guys see we are able to pick the wall breaker so for sure i will go with the 50 wall breakers that's actually awesome guys and the next card is a legendary of course so let's see if we actually manage to get two magic arches that will be awesome and looks like no unfortunately this time not but still that's fine just because this uh this way as you see extra gold plus 40 so i guess i will go with the ram rider but also that does give us uh, 2000 more star points so definitely not bad uh actually really happy with the wall breakers over there so as you see season results 6810 score at season and so that's actually awesome guys super super happy with this season um and looks like i will be reset at uh, 5405 in the world so or trophies let's see what it is in the world i think still 47 oh yeah as you see got a new batch arena season finish rank 47 so as you see here previous season and best season like my all-time uh, best like before was 135 as you see here but right now of course 47 much better so actually looks pretty cool guys um and as you see this is actually the deck i was using to uh push like in the final i think two days or final like day like yesterday and i guess like when i woke up like i was actually using this deck i copied it of someone who was actually like i think top 10 or something with it in the world um and actually ended up doing pretty well like this morning i think i uh ended like the night at 4 a.m with a loss let yeah as you see so as you see here five hours and nine um nine minutes ago i actually ended up losing against royal giant guards like fireball and then afterwards like i woke up two hours ago so basically yeah at 7 a.m half past 7 a.m i started playing so as you see we actually managed to beat rg lightning so for sure i will uh, show you guys then i actually ended up tying with pompeo then uh, we actually beat trainer chris as well he was actually really high he gave me 37 trophies then pekka pekka is actually a pretty good matchup for this deck like i actually saw quite a lot of pekka like as you see here like i also beat pekka afterwards i actually ended up having a really close match versus lava loon like double me and balloon i'll for sure show you guys that replay and then again a pekka player um and then the last match like i actually ended up going another match but i actually ended up drawing and then afterwards like after that match i just decided to yeah color the season so i think i will start off with the rg lightning one then i'll actually show the lumberjack one and then i'll actually show the um, the lava miner because that one was actually really close especially because i feel like pekka is quite an easy matchup don't really want to um, yeah go over like an easy matchup so let's see guys so this is actually a pretty tough matchup i mean he has guards he has electro wizard and the furnace like we don't really have a poison or something so fireballs are definitely really important but also keeping uh, pressure like for example um trying to bait like let's say his guards with let's say a better ram let's say a bandit like usually i try to bait his guards like of course not with the prince because guards is a really good counter against prince so here actually um yeah with this placement allowed me to go with a bandit uh yes dashing like straight into the furnace so here i'm not sure what to do but i actually decided to go with a better ram in the opposite lane especially because the furnace will actually end up dying um but basically like here i know like that is uh royal giant just because he showed a furnace he showed electro wizard and a barbell so i was pretty sure this royal giant guys so here i would just go with a barbell he's actually going aggressive with um a royal giant so i would just go with a prince i'll just go with minions but as you guys see in the top he does have his guards and cycles so it should be pretty easy defense for him i actually decided to go with a bennett into the left thinking that he would go with guards like off to the side he actually decided to drop them in the middle and with a bar bro he is able to fully counter my push 
we are about equal and elixir so not that bad but still probably could have uh, been better i actually decided to go really aggressive with a better m like even i think i only had like five elixir when i dropped it um i actually decided to go really aggressive knowing that he just used his guards knowing that he just used his um um what's it called barbarian barrel i'm sorry guys i'm still like super tired but anyway, so looks like, uh, yeah, right now, again, we're about equal on Elixir. We did manage to get his Furnace out of cycle, and Furnace is definitely annoying, so I think that's worth it, even, uh, yeah, it's an equal trade. So here I decided to go with Musky in the back. I'm not sure if I, um, I think here I actually made quite a big mistake. Like, here I actually tried to kite the Baby Dragon. I actually didn't end up kiting it. I think I dropped it a little bit too close, like too high. I think if I dropped it like one or two tails uh, lower... It would have actually cut it better, like the Musketeer would have probably been in range. And right now, actually, the Baby Dragon is still quite healthy. But anyways, doesn't really matter that much. The Baby Dragon does go down. Mega Man also goes down, and he does go with his e -Wiz. I decide to Fireball it. And I remember this is actually a pretty close match. Uh, so I think I'll just fast forward it a little bit. So let's go with um, a Bandit, like we ended up going with a Bandit. He does go with a Lightning here, but that's actually quite aggressive. So I feel like, uh, or I felt like I was up quite a bit. Decided to go aggressive with like minions, with the Prince there, with the Musketeer. So he actually ended up defending again like really well. I decided to go with a Bandit and a Prediction Barbell. Actually, uh, Barbell probably wasn't needed. Bandit still managed to dash into the tower, so that was awesome. Here, I actually tried to do a Lightning Block with the Better Ram. Um, but he didn't even go for the Musketeer, so... In this moment, I feel like I actually... I think I actually broke through over here. Yeah, as you see, Musketeer ended up blocking on um the better ram there so the musketeer actually brought it down to 461 here i actually missed the fireball like i didn't hit the tower over there with the fireball um but right now like this deck actually cycles pretty quick i decided to go with bandit ice golem minions and then i think also a barbell and that allowed me to cycle back to the fireball and then i actually ended up taking his left side tower so i feel like in that matchup like um if the rg player plays perfect i feel like it's a pretty good matchup for him like he should be able to win it but there he actually overcommitted with the lightning. He didn't hit the musketeer. And then afterwards, I just went basically all in with like ice golem. Um, I think the prince was already there. So I decided to go with a better M and a minions and then a bandit. And I think I also went with like Barbara. I just like spent everything at the bridge, like bridge bam. Um, and then I actually ended up dealing so much damage and then ended up getting his tower down to like 200 something. And then just needed to cycle to fireball. So actually let's, um, yeah, look the replay first, training Chris. So as I mentioned, he was actually really high guys like i actually ended up getting 37 trophies from um this match so actually a pretty interesting matchup i mean better ram um or uh ram rider excuse me ram rider is actually pretty uh weak against prince like prince is actually pretty strong against ram rider in my opinion but his deck is still pretty solid especially because he has triple spells like snowball gets a lot of value so i'll actually fast forward a little bit um yeah once again just to not make it like too long for you guys so I actually ended up going with a bandit in the back. He dropped his ice golem in the back. So again, like right now, we're just basically waiting. With this starting hand, I wasn't really sure. But I think I just end up going with minions. Like splitting minions in the back. Yeah, I split minions. I think he goes with his bandit. So I will just go with my ice golem into the lane of the bandit. Um, and looks like he goes with his inferno dragon. I just go with a musketeer. I was expecting him to actually poison this. Like as you see, he still has his poison in hand. Uh, I actually went with a Barbarrel, but Barbarrel wasn't that great just because the Musketeer still ended up dying and the Inferno Dragon wasn't in range. But anyways, I just ignored the Inferno Dragon. It only got like, I don't know, less than or maybe a little bit more than 100 damage. So here I decided to go with a Bandit in the back. He actually went with his Lumberjack, so I decided to go with my Prince. And I actually went quite aggressive, um, even with a Fireball here. I actually ended up missing the Ram Rider. So the Ram Rider actually ended up uh, yeah, dashing into the tower and getting quite a lot of damage. But as you see, we're actually uh, yeah, still able to get the Bandit Charge. Locked onto the tower, get two hits onto the tower, and right now we're actually leading with the damage. So I'll actually go to, uh, yeah, one speed again. So as you guys see, better I actually end up connecting to the tower. I think here I went for a fireball, just making sure I actually hit all the units rather than actually trying to hit the fireball, or uh, the tower, excuse me. So as you guys see, Prince is able to, uh, or actually the Ram Rider still managed to get a charge, but in general, like the Prince is actually a really great counter to a Ram Rider. So here I actually decided to go with a Bandit up high, like in the middle, knowing that he would go with an Ice Column. And this actually forced him to go with his Lumberjack. This actually forced him to go with a Barbarrel. Knowing that he just spent quite a lot, I actually decided to go with a Better Ram and then quickly drop a, a, a Barbarian Barrel, excuse me, in front of that. Just because, as you see here, like this is the perfect example. Like the Better Ram actually ended up connecting to the tower. Barbarian actually ended up bringing it into Fireball range. And of course, as you see, Fireball will be able to take it down. So the left side tower, um, yeah, was of course like taken down by the Fireball. So that was awesome. As I mentioned, plus 37. So that was definitely, definitely really nice. Um, and then from there on, I actually ended up uh, not losing a single match, I think, like when I woke up like two hours ago, uh, we did drew like three times, I think, or two times, yeah, two times, um, and then let's see how many victories, so one, 
two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so six victories and uh, two draws, like since I woke up. So that was actually awesome, guys. And then the last uh, match I want to show you guys, AJC. Also, I actually ended up like, or actually, I wanted to record this video as soon as possible because I was actually afraid that we would. Um, have like a balance change or yeah the balance change would go live really soon and then for example like all the replays would uh, get wiped and i did want to yeah and open up the chest live for you guys and of course show you guys some replays like me uh yeah actually ended up getting quite high so here i actually decided to punish his laugh out with a bandit and a better a little bit later with the fireball but the fireball still fine like the two barbarians are still there we'll probably be able to i think I, they actually took down the tower uh yeah we'll be able to take down the tower but as you see we are equal on elixir right now but he still has a seven elixir laugh hound uh, luckily for us, he actually didn't have his balloon in cycle right now. So I actually decided to go with... <coughs> Excuse me, guys. So I actually decided to go with the Musketeer to the side. So here he actually decides to Fireball. And the Musketeer with me is actually have a great synergy. Because let's say in this situation, like, he has a Zap. Uh, which he actually does, like, the Zap actually, like, went onto the means. So the means, of course, do go down, like, because of the Zap and the Lava Pups. But then, as you guys see, the Musketeer with 1 HP, because Musketeer doesn't die to Fireball, of course, still managed to, uh, yeah, keep the tower alive, killing the Balloons. So that was actually, um, yeah, pretty key. So as you guys see, we're up a little bit of Elixir. I actually decided to go with my Ice Golem and then a Prince in the back. So we do know that he has Goblin Gang in Cycle. And, of course, the Barbarian Barrel, like, doesn't reach that far. But I still decided to go with a Fireball over here. Um... And I think he, yeah, he just goes with a Goblin Gang, like, last second. Unfortunately, the Prince does die, like, to a Goblin Gang. Goblin Gang is actually a great counter Prince, especially because, like, right, uh, right now, like, I actually ended up activating the King Tower, like, by taking down the Right Side Tower. So, it looks like, again, he goes with his Laugh Out. I think, again, I will punish, but this time, I will not punish that hard, knowing that I just used my Fireball. Like, I don't want to go with, for example, a better M right now in front of this. He would just go with a Main Horde. As you guys see, like, in the top, he actually already had his Main Horde selected. And then he actually decided to go um, with a balloon, like, instead. Like, he actually decided to take the damage. This was actually a pretty bad prince on my part. Um, I probably should have known that he would drop it, like, in front. So the Musketeer actually ended up dying, guys. But as you see on the left side, Bedroom actually does end up connecting. Barbarians bring down the tower to 571 HP. And the means is able to, or the means are able to clean up the Lava Hound with the balloon. So right now we're actually in a pretty uh, interesting situation. He actually decided to go with his Lava Hound in the middle, like tanking for the main horde. I decided to just fireball them and then go with um, a Musketeer. So here I might have been able to um, get the... Or actually I think I do end up defending. I'm not sure. Yeah, I actually do end up defending, but I feel like he would just... Um, or I thought that he would just go with like Miner. So I decided to go with a better end, but he actually de decided to go with his Miner on defense. So here I actually decided to use a fireball on offense, just making sure like that it's actually in fireball range, just in case like if he somehow uh, ends up defending. But as you see, Bennett in the middle is able to take care of the tower just because he didn't have anything in cycle. He actually ended up uh, fireball the tower. So as you see, right now we're in a pretty uh, interesting situation. We do have a little bit of a damage uh, like lead, like an advantage, but still like this situation, I'm not a big fan of it just because uh, with one tower. So like defending lava like double minions with a balloon is quite hard so here i actually decided to go with minions cycling back to my fireball fireballing the main horde so here i pressure with a bandit uh musketeer on defense for sure like against the miner against the minions so right now we're again able to get quite a lot of chip damage with as you see the lava uh yeah pups with the minions are able to bring down my tower all the way to 2100 no 2037 hp so right now we're actually uh, low or down so much i actually decided to go with my prince I actually decided to go with my ice golem he does go with his mean horde he does go with his uh, minor i actually end up going with a um yeah bandit onto the right side i actually went with a prediction barbell but he didn't even have the elixir for the uh, goblin gang yet so in this situation i know that it's super important for me to keep the pressure so i actually decided to go with a prince into the left side as you see he went with his minions he actually ended up using his fireball on defense where the prince still managed to charge into the tower we went with a better ram i went with my minions then i actually went with my bandit onto the left went with a prediction barbell i think it actually did pay off a little bit yeah it actually hit a few of the goblins um and as you see the three barbarians are able to look onto the king tower and will be able to take it down for the three counts so that was actually awesome guys that was definitely key like keeping up the pressure in the end because i feel like if he actually ended up um yeah building up a push like a lava loom push like i would have never been able to defend it especially knowing like he has minions he has his zip he has his miner he has his fireball like he can just always for example miner my musketeer he can just zip or fireball the minions um so yeah keeping up pressure definitely was important and then again uh, as i mentioned earlier like the becca matchups and then the last one i actually ended up tying so hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. I do want to apologize for uh, yeah, having replays, guys, like rather than live matches. But hopefully you guys understand that I wasn't able to record like at, at uh, yeah, 4 a.m. or like this morning at 7 a.m. Actually tried to yeah, focus and actually get high. 
So yeah, once again, I actually ended up getting to 6,810 trophies, guys. Finishing number 47 in the world. Let me know how you guys did last season. Like, if you ended up uh, yeah, getting, like, a personal best, how you guys did. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to smack the like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel, feel free to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next videos. Bye, guys.